Welcome to the first episode of the Zotac Video Podcast. Today we'll be introducing the world's first hardware overclocking controller for Zotac G4 Series graphics cards, the new Zotac Nitro. The Zotac Nitro is a device that plugs into your computer's USB port. The unit is powered by USB and does not require any additional connectors. The unit has three buttons up front that automatically change functions depending on what you want to do with the unit. The Nitro also comes with a nice iron stand that's heavy and keeps the unit planted on your desk. After installing the Zotac Firestorm software and plugging in the Zotac Nitro, the device will light up with its high quality VFD display. When not overclocking, the device will constantly display your GPU engine, memory, and shader clock speeds as well as your GPU temperature. Overclocking with the Zotac Nitro is easy. You simply press the set button to choose what you would like to overclock. We'll be overclocking our Zotac GeForce GTX 280 today as a demonstration. We'll be giving the graphics card a mild overclock. You simply press the button to choose a clock speed. The Zotac Nitro can also adjust your fan speed. You can adjust your fan speed by simply pressing the set button until the fan speed display flashes. From there, you press the custom button. With the fan speed selected, you can increase or decrease your fan speed in 5% increments from the current fan speed. If at any time you'd like to revert back to the automatic fan setting, simply press back and auto and the fan speed will be controlled by the system. The Nitro also supports profiles. The profiles store your engine, memory, and shader clock speeds as well as your fan settings. To create a profile, simply overclock your graphics card to your desired speeds and then press the Profiles button, and then the Create button. Every time you press the Create button, a profile is created. To recall a saved profile or delete a profile, press the Profiles button, choose your profile, press Options, and Activate. To delete a profile, you'll want to do the same thing as you did to activate a profile except instead of activating it, you choose to delete it. And that concludes the first episode of our Zotac video podcast. Thank you for joining us.